A seven year old West End woman was shot and killed in a drive by shooting. Her family and friends say that they're just devastated. Yeah, the family of Tempest Epp says she was an innocent bystander when she was shot near her home on Freeman Avenue. Mike Shell, uh, you were telling me about this a little bit earlier, and the, you know, the question that, that I was talking to even Candace about was, you know, was it a random shooting? Was this a, you know, targeted attack? Because so many bullets are involved here. Yeah, she was not targeted, Tricia. The family of Tempest F says that she was uh, just coming across the street from her house to get to her car to go to the store last night. You see the car here turned into a makeshift memorial in her memory. People have been stopping by all day, leaving mementos, maybe pausing to reflect on what happened here in the 1900 block of Freeman Avenue last night. The family of 37 year old Tempest Epps says she was not the target and was just walking to her car to go to the store around 630 Sunday night when someone opened fire. I'm hurting real bad. I can say that. I'm gonna miss her terribly. Rosa Craig is Tempest's aunt who refers to her as her second daughter. And I'm looking around at all the people. I said, oh God, why me? Why do I have to lose one of mine? Police say shot spotter alerted them and officers were at the scene within minutes. Efforts to revive Tempest were unsuccessful. Once I seen her body and then it, they were turning it over, taking pictures and all of that, it's like she's gone. She's gone. It's over. Tempest F's death is the latest in a rash of drive by shootings in Hamilton County in the past two weeks. Reverend Pete Mingo is the great uncle to one of the victims who was killed on July 5th. His great niece, 18 year old Shamari Mingo, was shot in the chest while standing at Government Square. Mingo says he was stunned when he heard from some of the 200 young people at Shamari's funeral on Saturday. They all had a feeling of hopelessness, of helplessness. What can we do? And it was surprising to me how many said they didn't expect to live past 30. You know, and that's a sad, you know, set of affairs when we've got our children, you know, who say they don't expect to live out the full life. Tempest's death and all of the other shootings have taken their toll on Rosa Craig. Oh, I'm so sick of it. Got you scared to come out. As soon as it get dark, I'm in the house. You know, when it start getting dark, I don't come back out. I don't care what happens. I'm not coming back out. Cincinnati police say they are looking for four men in their 20s as cars uh, roll over the steel plates in the road here. They're doing some road work here. They're driving a, a stolen black Hyundai, and police say that it has a Cincinnati Bearcats bumper sticker. Reporting live from the West End, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now. Mike, thank you.